Hello everyone, in this video we're going to set up a Xbox One controller with Game Creator. Unfortunately things aren't really that simple, but with an additional script we can get it all working. Before we start I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So I have a really plain and simple scene here. We have a literal plane and we have our default player and a camera motor. Now on the camera motor it's important to leave mouse move on and allow zoom. I turn that off because I really find it annoying but you know that's up to you. So once you hit play and your controller is connected you will notice that you can move the character you know no problems there. You can't move the camera it's not possible so the mouse input it just doesn't work by default and yeah you know you still need to map buttons so space for example won't translate to any button so jumping will not by default be you know a input so first things first let's make sure we allow there to be um you know orbital input as well so let's go to um, project settings and go to input manager now ignore everything uh, you see here for now we'll do that in a bit but what we're going to do if you haven't changed anything this number will be 18 and you will want to turn that to 20 then you'll get uh, cancelled duplicated twice and basically you'll need to uh, you will need to input these values and I'm not going to uh, you know do that again it's just no point because um, I just literally be copying it over anyway so yeah just make sure you uh, you copy all of this over so this is important fourth axis joystick axis and the Y is the fifth axis and joystick axis if you are using uh, Mac OS I'll add a image in the description that shows um, what all of these axes will be for Mac OS because apparently for some reason it's not the same I don't really get why but it's not the same so yeah important to keep in mind so yeah just copy all of these values over cool I'll make sure to press pause and then we'll continue for now so now that you've done that we can hit play and you'll see you'll be able to move so you'll be able to walk um, and you know use the right thumbstick to uh, to orbit the camera and I'm pretty sure in the input manager you saw you had the inverted option as well so you know that's in there if that's something you prefer so yeah that's it for uh, the mouse movement plain and simple now I did notice for myself this happens um, you know it just keeps sort of rotating I'm not really sure if that's related to the camera motor uh, repositioning or the fact that we still you know we're on a PC we also have the mouse and controller uh, I didn't test this on a Xbox of course so I'm not really sure um, to be completely honest what the reasoning for this is if it will work fine on an Xbox yes or no so something to keep in mind if you are planning to develop for um, one of the two that you uh, you test that out so let's continue with some of the basics so under the player I'll add an empty I'll just call this movement and we'll go over every well let's say easy step here so we have a on key down and if you scroll down you'll see you will have um, joystick inputs here so let's go down 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 so you will have a 19 in total now if you look at your controller and you don't see 19 buttons um, sure that makes sense but unfortunately not even every button on the controller is mapped to one of these so yeah that's kind of a shame but uh, it's it's unfortunately really not that easy now if you want to you know make this different for different platforms um, game creator supports that as well which is really cool you can add the little plus here and you can add different um, 
different platforms. So you could have different input controls for both Xbox, PlayStation, and as you can see, you know, the trigger can be different for both platforms, which I think is really cool. I really like that. Um, it's really nice to have. For now, we'll just keep it to any platform. And we're going to do a, make this the jump button and that is joystick button zero. Now, that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. So let me show you what the mapping of the controllers is to the buttons. So as you can see here, we have the A, X, Y, B all mapped. LB is mapped, RB is mapped, back, start, and you know, pressing down the left thumb and right thumb stick. Unfortunately, there's no D-pad here and there's no left and right trigger, which is kind of annoying and unfortunately it's not in there, just in there by default. But we luckily have a custom script for that that was created by someone on the Game Creator Discord named Feta Knight. Um, really awesome job, it's a really cool script and it honestly makes it incredibly easy to add these buttons. So first off, we'll, we'll start with something basic. So we'll just map this to um, A, so uh, to jump. So the player jumps, so let's hit play. Cool, so we're in our scene and I press A and the player jumps. So yeah, that's really how simple it is. And yeah, that's pretty much all you have to, uh, all you have to do. So really nice. Now with the other mappings um, I just showed you, you can literally just, um, you know, use every input you want. I mean, there's nothing really exciting about it. It's just, you know, instead of key down being a, a space bar, it's, um, you know, joystick button zero. And that's really it. I mean, there's nothing much to it. It's not really exciting and not any issues there. Now, unfortunately, it becomes a bit more complicated when we want to use the D-pad and the L, T and right T um, buttons or triggers. So we'll, uh, we'll set that up. So first things first, let's start creating some new inputs. So I'm going to collapse these. As you can see in total, you'll need 26. And we'll start renaming them. And the names here honestly don't matter, which is quite interesting. The names for um, these do matter, by the way, just to be clear if this wasn't working for you. They need to be named exactly the same as these mouse X and Y. And this is mouse movement and this is joystick axis. The names here need to be identical, quite important. That's why you'll see all of these duplicates um, because they need identical naming. And when it comes to the LT, RT, and D-pad buttons, uh, naming doesn't matter. So just name them whatever works for you. Keep in mind to not make it too long because we'll manually need to call for these. Um, so I'm not even sure why I added Xbox to it. I could just could have just kept it LT, RT, but that's fine. And we have D-pad left, right, up, down. Now, this is how they need to be set up and that's the important part and this is also why it is not um, recognized by default because they are axis which is really really interesting and really weird um, considering you know the xbox 360 360 controller has been out for ages and you know they, it has the same button layout so i'm not really sure why unity does you know just doesn't recognize them as uh, buttons or makes it slightly easier. I'm not I'm not really sure why So yeah, make sure uh, LT Xbox or whatever you're gonna call it is named like this and it's the ninth axis and We'll have the exact same values for RT, but it will be the tenth axis and Yeah, I think you'll uh, you'll get the gist D-pad left exact same values. So don't make sure to not enter anything else and this is sixth axis. Deep at right is six axis as well. And now I'll, uh, I'll show you how we di differentiate with that in a bit. So basically, this is the uh, the horizontal axis, the six axis, and deep at up and down is the vertical axis, which is the seventh axis. 
So, pretty cool, pretty simple at the same time. So uh, yeah, that's that's what we need to do first. So just uh, copy over those values. There's really not that much to enter, so shouldn't take that long. And then next up, we are going to be using a custom script. It is added in the description, like I mentioned before, uh, made by Feta Knight. So many thanks. I didn't see it on the hub, so that's why I'm uh, adding it in the description. It took me a while to find this. There are different solutions on the hub as well, but this was by far the easiest to do. So the important thing is to add the igniter axis raw down script um, in this location. So go to plugins, game creator, core, mono, and igniters, and make sure you add it here. So once you've done that, once you've added it, um, you will see this happen. So we can do change trigger and just type in raw and suddenly you see on X is raw down. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm, uh, I'm going to do add another trigger, um, which will be, uh, I don't know, raw down as well, of course, but um, we're gonna go into a, a crouch state. So let's just change state here. And it will be, uh, I don't know, crouched. Crouch, there we go. It doesn't really matter the action here, it's not what's important, it's just to make sure it all works. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up um, the project settings, make them a, uh, a bit smaller. And we need to copy over the name, and that's literally all we need to do. So LT Xbox and RT Xbox here. Don't really remember which one was which, but it doesn't matter. And as you can see here, we have positive uh, as a direction as well, which is interesting. So we'll play around with that as well. So let's uh, let's hit play here. Cool, so next up, let's try to use those D-pad buttons and that's where the positive and negative comes in. So project settings again. So we'll do D-pad left. Right, and honestly, I'm not really sure which one is which, so it doesn't really matter. So, um, this one was crouching, so first one is crouching and jumping. So let's hit play. So D-pad left is jump. Okay, so I did it the right way and right is crouch. So yeah, basically left negative, um, right positive. And I mean, yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. Now keep in mind, this could be used for, for example, the right uh, thumbstick as well because so right now we just you know tied it to mouse movement so it basically copies mouse movement and it's the same but for example if you are going to create a RTS game or whatever and you want the stick to uh, you know basically behave a different way you can use this on axis down to um, you know tie it to the right thumbstick as well considering it's also an axis so yeah, really, uh, really cool. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's not as easy as you'd want it to be, um, but it's definitely doable and it honestly doesn't really take that much effort. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.